Unfortunately, creepy crawlies don't share our view of the Cocos Keeling Islands as paradise. There are no snakes and no venomous spiders. Even the sharks here are friendly. Bit of a difference from the mainland. What you do have to look out for are these. Falling coconuts are dangerous, so try to remember not to stand underneath coconut palms. Did you know there is no Cocos Island? Each of the 27 islands have their own name and the entire atoll is known as the Cocos Islands. Originally, they were named the Keeling Islands after they were discovered by Captain William Keeling in 1609. I'll tell you something else that's pretty cool. At low tide, you can walk between almost all of the islands. The Cocos Keeling Islands is a beachcomber's paradise, no matter where you choose to explore. Look what I've found so far. There's sea glass and so many beautiful types of shell. And there's more beach treasure just waiting to be discovered with every new tide. Just watch what you touch, it might be alive. The islands are home to around 30,000 green turtles. They're a lot bigger than the endangered hawksbill turtle and you don't even have to snorkel to see them. Where do you go? Right here, the jetty on West Island. The turtles come here to feed on the seagrass and you can even see them pop their heads up out of the water to take a breath. There are thousands upon thousands of crabs teeming all over the Cocos Islands. Some are cute and friendly, others not so. But my challenge was to start a new craze and get a crab selfie. I had a little trouble convincing the crusty critters to get on board, but I managed to get there. Hashtag I got crabs at Cocos. So if you're going to come over here, you'll need somewhere to stay. And the people who can help you out with that, right here at the Visitor Centre. Oh, hi, Jez. How can I help you? There's a range of accommodation options from B&Bs, apartments, cottages and bungalows.